Hello and welcome to Pedal of the Day. The guitar I'll be using in today's video is this beautiful Fender Strat Custom. The pedal I'm demoing today is the Mosky Brown Distortion. Right, so this is a Marshall inner box pedal. I'll quickly go through the functions on it and then we can move on. This is the on-off switch and then at the top we have these two red knobs. One is tone and one is contour. Really, these need to be used together to shape the sound that you want. Contour will give you more thickness, more of a mid-range push, and the tone has a, a steep EQ to it. When you dial it down, it gets pretty dark, and when it's fully on, it sounds very sizzly. So you need to be careful. It's like I say, I think it's best if you use the two red knobs together and then shape the sound that you want. White knobs are the volume here, and then on the other side is the gain knob. Now, if the gain knob is turned totally off, then there will be no sound. So it needs to be moved to a position to the right where you're going to hear some sound. The, in the middle, you have two switches. At the bottom here, this is the boost switch. At the moment, it's off in a down position. When it's up, it is activated. And the same thing goes with the switch above. Down position is vintage. Upward position is modern. So now we've uh, got all that out of the way. Let's move on. OK, so this is the amp I'm using. It is based on a Fender Dual Showman. And it's a clean amp. And these are the settings I'm using. I've got five on gain, 4.6 on bass, five middle, 6.1 treble, 6.1 presence, nothing on the reverb, and 7.5 on the volume. Pre the amp, I have this noise gate. In the effects loop, I have this delay pedal. I've also changed out the cabinet and microphones. Originally, I had this 2x15 closed DJ130, and it sounded quite dark, and it didn't suit the pedal. So I changed it out for the one I'm using here, which is a 410-65 Super Reverb. It's a brighter sounding cabinet, and I've changed the microphones as well to suit my taste. This is my favourite combination, a 421 and a 160. And it's important to note, with certain pedals, you may have to change amp and or cabinet to suit that particular pedal. And this is what I've done in this situation. Cabinet before just didn't suit this, and this setup does. Okay, so now we've got that sorted, let's move on. This is the first setting. This is the second setting. If you're enjoying watching this video, please consider smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel so that I can keep on bringing this free content. This is the third setting. This is the fourth setting. This is the fifth setting. This 
This is the sixth and final setting. OK, so I haven't gone through an exhaustive application with this pedal, but I've scratched the surface and given some examples of what this pedal can do. If you are looking for a Marshall in a box type pedal at a very good price, then I can highly recommend the Brown Distortion pedal by Mosky. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Serbs out.